Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we are showing the Moonbase Alpha. I wanted to show you guys the Moonbase Alpha is a work in progress. And if uh, you have seen in my previous videos, uh, it has changed quite a bit. For example, here we have the solar panels. I've been using this uh, NASA Blocks mod. So the solar panels uh, look more um, like what you will see in the, in the International Space Station, for example. And also I've been using the um, Industrial DLC mod blocks. And it, I, I have to say that this um, Industrial DLC uh, has a really cool uh, blocks that has improved the the aesthetics of the of the of the station like it it brings these um these beam blocks that look um more uh, yeah industrial i would say uh, but also it gives a, a nice a nice look in general to the base um so these these are the the blocks that are still under constructions and this is for example one that it's fully built compared to this one that it's um, uh, just uh, placed there <coughs> it needs um, to be finished and what i'm doing here i i will um, take you through uh, the general design of the base I divided in this uh, kind of blocks uh, that have um, nine uh, blocks aside, right? Like I'm I'm arranging it in uh, cubes, let's say, and each cube has nine blocks um, side and and nine blocks. I mean from this point to that other point. So there's a, a of course a block in between and this uneven uh, or let's say odd numbering will let me have like a central block so this one advantage of this the nine uh, block um, or nine um, width cube that I'm uh, working with and here what you see is a corridor so this uh, just below the surface I have like the, the habitable part and just below I will arrange corridors like this that will um, span the whole um, station or it, it will interconnect uh, the, the, the cubes each cube um, it's uh, I call it an area and you can see from here that I've connected several cubes. I, I made like an L here um, of corridors. So you would, I can take you through the, the what I've built so far. So you enter here. This, this will be like um, a watch tower or a, like a control station, like a control tower, I would say. It's some sort of control tower where you can have um, uh, an overview of the whole station but this will this will change definitely uh, so if we enter from the control tower you have here the corridor I'm using also these um, corridor sections are from the um, warfare DLC so if you you go for example here we, we reach this um, corner where you can go uh, in a different direction and here uh, this section here is for an airlock so at this point you can uh, go to the surface and you would do so through this airlock so I, I placed um, an air vent here to continually suck the air out. So this would be like this closed and this, this part here would be pressurized for example. So you 
exit the pressurized section you close here and then the vent will um, create a vacuum here and it will um, try to recycle the air and then you open the door here and you are out in the in the station in the surface and then this corridor right here would uh, take you to uh, the landing pad you see there uh, but before the landing pad there is this um, hangar so I have like uh, another control station here to control the the, the landing pad so I, I place all this um, equipment here this is to control the the, the, the crane that is there below and the crane um, I use the crane to yeah to load and unload um, modules into the the Eagle transporter for example and here we have um, let's say for example here is the platform so if I click that button you see that the that the platform with the Eagle transporter comes down and then I can uh, load and unload things from the Eagle transporter so this is um, this is where this corridor right here will lead to right to this um, uh, hangar let's say area to this control and is the control station here and the hangar that is all around it so this will be like a, a huge open area inside the base I won't I think I won't pressurize the hangar but probably this control station would be pressurized and then here we will have the the, the stored modules I've created this uh, these pads to uh, store modules and they are activated by um, pistons they are moved by pistons here you can see and this lets me um, have like a, a cluster a storage cluster here where I can store up to three um, modules and this um, piston will bring the the platform to this center point where it will be taken by the uh, crane here so this is the, the the basic idea of it all but as you can see it's a, it's a work in progress the other part of the design is this uh, plumbing right like this is an important part how you how you transport uh, materials and uh, gases uh, through the station so I have this design where I create like th there's an, uh, an upper plumbing that is meant to pressurize the upper part of the station so you can see here that we have these um, uh, pipes and connected to the pipes are these um, vents so at each i will show you inside the, the the corridor where these vents are so these vents are down here right so at um, regular intervals we will have a vent right that will pressurize the area so this is this um, what's behind this um, this upper piping so I, the plan would be to have like the upper cubes uh, pressurized basically and the lower ones probably won't be pressurized so I, I made this um, pattern where this um, well, I think I don't have I don't have any of um, let's see if I have the materials the idea would be to have um, two vents right 
facing uh, opposite sides I will show you so for example let me get some some I need a plate yes so this um, these vents you see here oops I need also <laughs> some fuel running out of fuel well as you can see guys um, we, we are in survival here so in survival everything takes um, a lot of work so yeah maybe if, if you are not into the like if you you want to skip a lot of work you would be in uh, creative like in this sandbox mode but I like to to do it as a survival challenge so a vent will be placed um, like this right in each of these like nodes you see here each and every one of these nodes will be will have that uh, this um, this um, air vent pointing down so that that would make all this um, piping that you're seeing here um, it will make them uh, basically pres pre uh, pressurizing uh, network that will pressurize up and down so like each each of these uh, cubes these uh, nine uh, side cubes that you see in the upper part will have uh, this node in the middle with these two vents one pointing up and down so I can use them to pressurize the, the upper and the lower part of the cube and yeah but it's it's really daunting to to try to build this all at once and that's the reason why I, I've closed uh, this way the, the corridors because in principle for example um, we can have rooms opening at each at each part like for example here the, this this section instead of being closed by this um, by this uh, w uh, interior wall it could be open like it could have a door here or another corridor but since i don't want to do it at once because it's 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 daunting it's really it's a lot of work so i will um I'm placing it like this, right? Everything is closed, and when I decide to expand the the the, the station, I will just um, um, disassemble the, the 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 interior wall and and build the room I want. So this station is is big, and I think it could. Um, host a full colony of uh, settlers um, engineers and uh, medical personnel uh, scientists scouts whatever it's we could have like a really big settlement here i i i don't know i i I didn't run the numbers to calculate how much but for example many of these uh, rooms that would be created could be um, living uh, areas or um, also we could have working areas as well and probably down the the the, the the cubes that are lower in the in the crater they will be uh, reserved for for example this area evidently is about ship hangar right like uh, ship storage and ship maintenance and sh um, ship module uh, storage and maintenance 
and the lowest could be used for other kind of storage and maintenance so this is this is the the the, the idea of uh, of this layout and you can see like part of the old old structure of the station here uh, i've been replacing all these um, vanilla blocks by the industrial blocks like these beams that create the structure so this is a nice thing about this um, mod that i can i can make like this a uh, structure um blocks uh, they're different from the from the the other blocks so from the for example you have structure and then you have the the, the internal walls and stuff like that or corridors it it, it gives this nice um, differentiation between the the blocks and it looks yeah it looks different like it's not like everything is this um, these metal blocks and you can see here that like the old old um, solar panels that I had this is like the vanilla solar panels and I came up with this other design so they are like um, we have like these towers these pillars and at the base of each pillar I'm placing a battery and this battery is also from the NASA blocks mod I place a rotor in it that that uh, enables the the panels to rotate horizontally and another uh, rotor that um, allows it to rotate vertically let's say in, uh, in this other plane and I, I I like better the look of it it looks I don't know more um, it's more similar to to what you would have uh, like NASA looking stuff and I'm about to re replace this one as well so the base currently spans two craters right like this huge crater here and then this smaller crater and it, in the smaller crater was the one I first uh, started constructing the base in and currently I'm using it for um, these uh, small ship landing pads but this um, I, and you can see also a lot of the old style here in this uh, smaller crater and I want to replace this why well, I've been replacing it um, I've been replacing this uh, vanilla um, blocks by the industrial DLC blocks <coughs> and the idea is to keep doing this uh, I'm dividing this uh, area as well with um, nine blocks side uh, um, cubes and the idea is to have uh, well this this hang or this landing pass should be centered in those blocks and probably I would have some sort of mechanism to bring the to, to store somehow the ships or bring them inside a hangar down here maybe i will try to do something like what we you have in elite dangerous <laughs> that i i was experimenting with uh, that kind of mechanism before down here we have uh, a refinery um, storage containers also uh, hydrogen and oxygen tanks and generators things like that and 
Another thing I want to do is like to create a vehicle entrance, probably through this um, cave here. To to park the the, the rovers, right? To have like a, a vehicle hangar, land vehicle hangar in here. Fuel low. So I think, yeah, we are over with a with a small tour. Um, I would make an update to to show you guys how it's going. Uh, there's this is a work in progress. There's um, still a lot of work to do. And well, I hope you like the video. I hope to see you in the next one. This is uh, Cyber Settler signing off.